Our dream team is here to make it happen. Already so busy. We got Jason here and Grace and Julie. And of course, the lovely lady in the chair. So we don't want to give away her final look. That's why she's facing the other way. But we, we do want you to meet her. So Irmala has been through many ups and downs. And she's so ready and deserving of some pampering. Here's her story. Hi, my name is Irmala. I'm 34 and I'm currently on maternity leave. So I've been married to my husband Kenny for nine years, going on 10 next year. Three weeks before a wedding, we found out that Kenny had cancer. It was quite a shock because we were very young. I was 24 and he was 25. The day after our wedding reception, he started his chemotherapy treatment. To be faced with such such a hardship so early um, it allowed us to really grow our bond together and know that we are able to move through life through any obstacle that comes our way when we finally decided that it was the right time to start our family it took us about a year and a half to conceive our son Kaden and then it took us about nine to ten months to conceive our daughter Talieva. We did have to go through the fertility clinic for both of our kids. Maternity leave this time around has been very challenging given COVID and how it's kind of played out. It's kind of lonely sometimes. To moms who are struggling right now, I know it's not something that is talked about, but it's something that should be talked about. Myself going through that journey, talking to a number of different friends and coworkers, and just to know that I wasn't alone in that journey really did help to get through that rough path. <laughs> I'm very happy with my husband. I'm very happy with my kids. Like, <laughs> it's great to be home with them and see how they have developed and how they have grown and had their relationship and their bond together. Couldn't ask for anything else. I think I have everything that I could possibly need. Kelly, come sit here. I'm very excited for this makeover, to be very honest. Um, my maternity leave is coming to an end and kind of being cooped up for almost a year and a half, a little bit more than that. To enter the real world kind of like this is <laughs> questionable on my part. Um, but I'm excited to see the transformation that's going to come because I'm ready to be not just a mom, but a woman. <laughs> Irmala is all of us, okay? You're on mat leave, you're in your leggings all the time. You have really gone through it. I'm really excited that we could have you in the chair today. And Julie, you heard what the uniform is. And I think both of us understand this, the mat leave uniform of yeah. leggings. <laughs> the look for Irmala, are, is she going to be anywhere close to tight black pants? No, <laughs> no, we're talking va va voom. I don't want to reveal too much, but it's, it's going to be bombshell. As she said, she doesn't want to just be a mom. She wants to be a woman. And you're going to make that happen, <laughs> Jewel. Right. OK, so Kenny, come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here. Come stand right here beside me. Kenny also had a COVID test. We all have COVID tests. So come a little bit closer, because I don't want you to look over there. Okay, we'll look you look at me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. OK? Yep, 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 mm -hmm. Let's see Irmala's before picture, so we can see what she looked like before her glam, beautiful day. We know she's been through a lot. You've been through a lot. The family's been through a lot. We want to see her gorgeous after. So, Irmala, come on out. Wait, wait, wait. And look at Irmala. Oh, my God. Who wow. are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't go to me. Go to her. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> you look stunning. Thank you. Okay, Kenny, come back okay, on yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. I know it's a lot. It I know it's a lot. lot. Yeah, yeah. You left her this morning not looking like that. And you show up here and she's a, like a glamorous goddess. You it's okay. It's okay. Stand right there and look right forward into that camera. Irmala spent almost her entire, I'm sorry, I led you wrong, oh. right over there. <laughs> Irmala spent almost her entire makeover crying. And this is really interesting because we told Kenny this and Kenny was like, Irmala doesn't cry. <laughs> What's going through your mind? I'm just so appreciative of yeah. this entire experience. Like, yeah. it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> we love having, we love having you here with us. We love it, we love it, we love it. We love that it means something. 
I can see that it means something, it and that mean, makes it mean more for us. So let's bring in the team. We've got Jason here. We've got Grace Lee here. We've got Julie here. Okay, Jay, walk <laughs> us through the hair. I saw you starting that cut early. You took a lot of hair off. It looks stunning. Well, I was also really lucky to have Irma come into the salon at the beginning of the week, so we lightened up some of her hair color as well with a little bit of balayage, some golden tones, and then, yeah, we just went into it, took a lot of the weight into the haircut. She All she wanted to be able to do is be able to pull it back into a ponytail, which she still can do. She didn't want a lot of bulk, so we took a lot of the hair out, and she looks so pretty. She looks so pretty. <laughs> Two young kids, of course, she wants to be able to throw it in a ponytail. We totally get okay. that, and Jason, thank you for uh, making that happen still. Gracie. Uh, okay, well, oh, sorry. I have to do yep. like a little touch up here. Yeah. I mean, she has just a beautiful face. We just wanted to, she doesn't wear any makeup at all. None. So mascara helped, a little liner, brows, and then I thought a nice glossy burgundy lip would look amazing with the green. Mm. And she just looks fabulous. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> So Grace and I had a good time because every time I went over to the makeover, um, I'd start talking to Irmala. She would start crying, yes. and Grace would say, "Stop that right now!" And I would say, "Let it out." And I was like, "No, let it out. if you want to cry, you should let it out." Grace is like, "No, not for the makeup. I don't no. want the tears." Out. I don't. Want, yeah, but she just looks beautiful, Stunning. and I mean, also like, look at that glow oh. on her cheekbones. I did that, you know, chrome highlight under the brows, the yes. cheekbone area, and she just looks so glamorous. So good. Grace, you turned it out. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. You. Thank Julie, you. come on in here because you put her in one of your glammiest of the glam gowns at Fitzroy Rentals. It's beautiful. Yeah, we're out of the sweatpants and leggings. <laughs> the, I told you, va va boom. Like, right. this is a total bombshell. It's got that green velvet for kind of the holiday season, but it's such a flattering silhouette, and yes. she just looks like glam. Amazing. You know, we saw your we saw your tape off the beginning of the show, and and we know that your uh, family has gone through so much. And I feel like having you here in studio. Was there a moment where you were just going through all of the things your family has been through? Is is that why it was so so emotional for you? Most definitely. Yeah. Um, I think with COVID, it's just kind of put us into like this bubble, yes. and this has kind of allowed me to just feel like me a little bit, not a mom or a wife or mm -hmm. anybody else. It's just for me, something That's for right. me. And Thank you're you so much. Yes. I love that.